What's a controlling idea? I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. It is a more specified variation of that sometimes very vague word theme. Master storyteller Robert McKee says it's one clear, coherent sentence that expresses a story's irreducible meaning. The controlling idea shapes the writer's strategic choices. It's a creative discipline guiding the writer's aesthetic choices, letting them know what's appropriate and what's inappropriate. In other words, it helps you determine what's relevant to your story and what needs to be cut. Your overall story's direction should be guided by your controlling idea. Hey everyone, Alan Northern here giving you filmmaking tips and tricks. And by the end of this video, you are going to know exactly what a controlling idea is and how you can create your very own for your screenplay. Excited? Give this video a like and let's get started. Robert McKee believes that the more beautifully you shape your story around one clear idea, the more meanings your audiences will discover in your film. Conversely, the more ideas you try to pack into a story, the more they implode upon themselves until the film collapses into a rubble of tangential notions saying nothing. So, controlling idea. A single sentence describing how and why life undergoes changes from one condition of experience at the beginning to the other at the end. Every single controlling idea has two components, value and cause. Value identifies the positive or negative charge of the story's critical value, cause being the primary reason why the value has evolved to its final state. The easiest way to identify what the controlling idea is in your film or TV show is to dive in to the end of the climax and ask yourself, how did we get here? And how did the protagonist actually overcome what he had to overcome at the end? So a controlling idea answers the question, why are we here and how did we get here? So let's look at the film Taken. <laughs> How did we get to this point? Because Brian Mills utilized his particular set of skills and every resource at his disposal to get his daughter back, to restore peace to his family. So what can we get from Taken? You will find your greatest strengths when fighting for your family. This and this alone, plus Liam Neeson, gave rise to a Taken trilogy. What living, breathing philosophy did our protagonist employ to get where he is? And more importantly, does the screenwriter believe that this philosophy is right or wrong? You have shed the blood of so many Christian souls, and yet, before me now, all I see is a young and vain and foolish man so easily riled. The King. How did King Hal end up victorious? Hal is driven to separate himself from his father's legacy and lead his kingdom differently. His strength lies in the fact that he doesn't wish to fight or wage wars against other kingdoms like his father. He knew that he needed to find his own way and establish himself as a completely different leader than his father was. Utilizing his own conscience and his trustworthy resources, he prevails victorious. So what does all that leave us with, Alan? Strength power and greatness can be achieved when you attempt to build your very own legacy. Think about it. What are the core values at stake in your story? And so the first step then is to decide what is the critical core value at stake in the story? Is it justice, injustice? Is it love and hate? Is it life and death? Is it the meaningfulness of life versus the meaninglessness of life? And so you have to sort that out. It can get very complex. So there are a few ways to identify your controlling idea. Look into how and why the core value of the story shifted from one phase to the other. Start by going to your story's climax. McKee states, what value positively or negatively charged is brought to the world as the result of your film's climax? 
what is the chief cause, force, or means by which this value is brought into this world? The sentence you compose from answering those two questions are going to be your controlling idea. Typically, the controlling idea is reinforced in dialogue, events, and a chain reaction of events that occurs when the core value of the controlling idea is ignored. The previous owners of this home were hung from a tree in our backyard. Yes. Oh, that is so sick, Alison. And you let our little girl play back there? Why shouldn't I? Our son is having night terrors and drawing pictures of this crime at school. Our daughter just painted a little dead girl on our wall. She's missing. Okay? What? She's missing. Technically, she's missing. They don't know if I she's... don't want to hear about technicalities. Do you understand what you've done this time? The kind of jeopardy you've put your children in? Your marriage? Yes, I do! I understand! you won't do for your goddamn book? Sinister. Ellison Oswald chases after the ghost of past fame and fortune he received from his book, Kentucky Blood. His desire for past glory drives him to relocate him and his family into a house where previous murders occurred. His desire for fame puts him and his family in danger and eventually leads to their deaths. Sorry if you didn't see Sinister. In simple words, the controlling idea is the purest form of the story's true meaning. There's one final aspect. There's one final aspect about controlling idea that you've got to know. These are words from Robert McKee that I do agree with. The story tells you its meaning. You do not dictate meaning to the story. You do not draw action from idea, rather idea from action. Story embeds its controlling idea within the final climax. And when this event speaks its meaning, you will experience one of the most powerful moments in the writing life. Self-recognition. The story mirrors your inner self. Beautiful story design is the combination of subject found and imagination at work, and the mind loosely but wisely executing the writing craft. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the video if you haven't. If you want to chat, let's chat in the comments below. If you have any questions or anything, please ask away. And uh, until next time, see ya. Little by little you